Are you serious? Yeah, I'm talking about series. Oh boy. Uh huh. When we're talking about series, we need to talk about some of the notation. Notation. Yeah. This is the Greek letter, letter sigma. What does sigma do? Sigma adds things up. What exactly does it add up? It adds up terms of a sequence. A sequence is a function whose domain is the integers. Oh boy. More parts about this summation notation. This bottom number down here tells you where to start. It's the index. This top number up here tells you where to stop. Okay. So initial value, final value, crank them through. Let's do one. I'm over here, see? Here I have a sequence, see? And a, a series adds up the terms. This says you're gonna start with one and you're gonna continue on until you hit four. So here we go. Ready, 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 I'm ready. Um, this is the same as one squared plus two squared plus three squared plus four squared. Now here I see I have one thing changing from term to term and it's the base, indicated by that n. Finish him. This is one plus four plus nine plus 16, very nice. That's 10, is it? Yes it is, 20. And then what? Yeah. And you're on to the next one. I put this next example in here so that we could talk about what happens when my index is starting at a value that's not one. So here we go. This is going to be the sum of one over, what's my start value? Three plus one over, goes to the next one, four plus one over, yeah, that's right, five. And then you finish. You just got to add those fractions. What is it? 20 and 15 is 35. Hmm. 35 and 12 is 47 over 60? Is it 47 60 it's? I don't know. You check on yours. I don't want to throw out a wild guess. Now I'm over here. Man, what if we wanted to write it in series notation? That means I need to slap the sum on it. Okay. So I slap the sum on it. Now I need to identify what's changing in term to term. Here it appears my exponent is incrementally changing. Okay. So that's going to be my n's. This is 5 to the n. Yes. But wait, there's more. What's my first n? It's a 1, right? Because if there's nothing there, it seemed to be a 1. And what's my last one? 5. And then what? Uh -huh. Now look at this one up here. This is an extra exciting example. So many real world applications of a geometric series. A what? I remember that car. No, not the geometro. The geometric series. Yeah, um, many, 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 many applications and many, many videos will come from this. But hey, guess what? This is an infinite series. What does that mean? We're gonna add stuff up forever. And this one's actually gonna add to something. Yeah, if you were to take a look at some of these terms, yeah, crank them out. This is three fourths to the one minus one plus three fourths to the two minus one plus three fourths to the three minus one plus, okay, I've seen enough. This is going to be, this is going to be um, three fourths to the zero plus three fourths to the one plus three fourths to the two plus okay sure um but wait there's more uh-huh this is um one plus three fourths plus nine sixteenths plus what's the next one um twenty seven uh uh oh sixty fourths what do you notice about these fractions? They keep getting smaller and smaller and smaller and eventually come so close to zero 
that um, you'll be essentially adding nothing and then this series will converge. And then what will it converge to? One over one minus three fourths. For now, that's just gonna have to be a little math magic. But definitely, if you want a video on that, email me, I'll make it gladly. Um, four, three, flip. Does it really add up to be four? That's awesome. Four minus one is three. Bam. So if you add up those numbers forever, it's gonna add to be four.